Aloha, this is Phil Hegman with EXP Realty. We are checking out Kalihiwai Ridge, lot number 14, which is a three unit CPR here at the back end of Kalihiwai Ridge, meaning that uh, you're up here next to the mountains, the beautifulness. This is a three unit CPR. We're going to check it out. It's 3.7 acres, has water and electric to the property. Um, right here, you can see the uh, power meter. Here's our access to our property. We got a steel gate here, and then the neighbor's entrance right over here. As you enter the property, you got some banana trees over here to the right. It's kind of like a pie shape, it looks like. You can see the property line over to the left here. Along the property line, they do have, it looks like a two and a half inch uh, PVC water. You got water up here at the front here with two spigots. Looks like they've run some conduit as well for some of the other utilities. So you've got uh, water to the middle or back of the property almost. Bunches of groves of banana trees, tea leaf. You've got uh, a great big tree right in front of me is a breadfruit tree. You've got Samoan coconut. Can't tell yet what that one is. Got a lot of citrus on the property. Now we're walking down the main uh, driveway here. And the land's been prepared such that the water flows towards the back and sides. So as you can see, um, the water, the trees are planted on top of hills, and then there's a little bit of drainage to the sides in the middle of the land purposely to drain water away from the trees so they don't rot or anything like that. So it's been carefully prepared. There's been a bunch of stuff that's been brought in. Um, you see some orchids on that tree there. They're beautiful. Plumeria. It's quite a deep property and it goes, there's a couple different home sites um, that you could utilize. So depending on where you wanted to be, um, the first selected home site is right about where this car is. Well, go over here and check it out. Um, so if you had a home, depending on where you wanted to put it, this is like the middle of the property. Street beyond me here, you've got some papaya trees standing up and there's a vegetable garden in front of the banana trees. If you put a home here, you'd have a great view of the Namahana Mountains here. But you'd also have some privacy. Now you see the other two houses over here beside you. So this was the original selected home site by the uh, the buyer that was going to build a home. There's some more coconut trees and palms. Right now there's uh, a couple shed outbuildings as well as um, composting toilet on the property. You can still see that it's been pretty well maintained over here for the, the property line. Some new plants being planted here. Trees to take off. We've got lychee, coconut, over here to the left. Getting back towards the back of the lot here in the boundaries. So I'm being told this would be like a place where you could put 
a second home, or I mean not a second home, the other building location where you, if you build back here, you'd have the mountains in the front and then the valley in the back. Um, beyond this is Princeville Ranch and agriculture, um, conservice, conservatory land back here down by the, the, um, river. So down here we see this iron pipe and the, uh, rock marks the property line. So here we have the property line, and if you can see it, maybe, there's this north, south, east, west orientation to the property. Here is your valley view. They do still raise cattle over on that far portion of the ranch. The property line goes straight over this way, beyond that dead tree beyond that clump of trees, and then there's another um, lot. So you've got about 20 to 40 feet of unusable, you know, um, ridge here where the property line is. And then just a little bit, about 40 feet in this direction is what I'm being told. So there's a little bit of land over on that side. As far as the stream, you could walk down this ridge, cut a path, um, use the contour of the land this way and cut a path that you know, switches back and goes down to the stream. I'm told that there's some swimming holes down there. Um, it's beautiful. It's super quiet. Right now all I hear in the back of the property is birds. Stream I can hear. And uh, off in the distance, like somebody's doing a little bit of yard work. But other than that, beautiful, peaceful. Sorry, this is a long video and I'm not walking faster, but I um, figured I wanted to show you everything and all sides of this property. It's pretty unique. Um, being at the back of the mountains, you've got uh, not as much traffic. You'd have complete privacy up here. So, right about there, that other uh, dead tree is supposedly the other portion of the property line. This area has been terraced um, as he was going to grow more trees, um, just hasn't planted yet. So he's been terracing this area for growing some more citrus. We'll walk up this way. You've got citrus trees there. I think that might be lime. Not sure. Diana might check it out and grab some for uh, her table. on to the hint these are mountain apples right here so this is a mountain apple tree as you can see the little growing all over the limbs there this tree is going to be loaded with mountain apples and what uh, the listing agent was telling me is these things were planted in different spatial times meaning that you know, they're all going to produce fruit at different times. And uh, with that being said, you'll always have, you know, breadfruit coming and going and mountain apples and bananas. We're walking along this side of the property. And it goes down a little bit of ways on this side. There's a, a uh, fence you'll be able to see here shortly. The bus can stay or go. You've got the... Giant papayas, the banana forest, got a breadfruit tree here. It's all pretty level and flat until you get to the edges of the property. Um, so you got mostly usable land of your like 3.7 acres, probably 0.7 acres is not usable. Well, it could be if you wanted it to. They got lychee trees. Can't wait so we can be friends. Another breadfruit. And right beyond that breadfruit tree right there, oops, there's a little bit of a fence you can see right there. 
So that's the property line that goes up towards the other neighbors. You got a little bit more drainage here for the trees. This might be a, another Samoan coconut. They don't get very tall, but the uh, juice is supposed to be twice as nutritious as just regular coconut juice. We're looking over towards the car, as you can see. Just to give you some spatial distancing. So you got about 100 feet, maybe 75 feet. On the other side of the car is the property line. Then to where I am, there's another, you know, 40 feet here to that property line. So it's a pretty big property. More breadfruit, tea leaf. Here's your neighbor's giant house. Looks like they were friends. There's a uh, little bit of an open gate there. Some more citrus. Tea leaves. And then the property line comes over here and then jogs back towards this street. So you've got your other neighbor that you share your CPR with. Oh, there's some breadfruit that's almost ready. Yeah, that'll be ready real soon. More coconuts. I don't know if there was a mango tree on here or not. That kind of looks... I've seen some mango trees recently. Anyway, that's your property. Um, big piece of land, fully groomed, fully prepped. You know, electric water. You just need wastewater. And to figure out where you want to build your site, your home. Um, either in the back of the lot, the front of the lot. You won't get any ocean views, but we can't ask for everything, I don't think. Anyways, um, see the front of the property, headed back towards that, the road there. And I'm going to cut this uh, here short. I did see some guava over there um, as well, so that's kind of nice. Anyways, let us know what questions you have. And, uh, oh, I can't even see the front of the property or the, the gate from here, or barely where that sign is off in the distance. Beautiful property, gorgeous views both sides. Let us know if you have any questions. Aloha.